in this particular video we will talk about minimization problems it's a special category of problem in geometry i'll give you one example and then at the end of the video i'll give you sort of a challenge problem let's start with an example problem okay so suppose you have a convex quadrilateral so if you don't know the meaning of the word convex i'll tell you that here is an example of a convex quadrilateral and what it means to be convex is if you take any two points inside the quadrilateral then the line segment joining the two points will be entirely inside the quadrilateral so here is an example of a non convex quadrilateral why is this particular quadrilateral non convex well you can easily find two points such that the line segment joining them is outside at least partly outside the quadrilateral so this is not convex and this one is convex okay now my question is that i want to find a point let's call that point p inside the quadrilateral such that pa plus pb plus pc plus pd is minimal so what is the meaning of the word minimal where well, here is the precise definition if you take any other point q and compute qa plus qb plus qc plus qd then that sum would be greater than or equal to pa plus pb plus pc plus pd that is the precise meaning of the word minimal it is as small as you can make it so maybe you want to set up a shop and there are four houses in these four corners and you want the sum of the distances from these four houses to be as small as possible that will minimize your transportation costs from your shop to the houses making maybe you are making home delivery of stuff or something so this could be very easily a real world problem so you want pa plus pb plus pc plus pd as small as possible hello everyone my name is ashwini dashgupta i am a faculty at chinta.com chinta offers beautiful mathematics programs for children like you these are for mathematical olympiads isi and cmi entrances and research projects for school and college kids the most important part of any chinta program is that it is made out of a lot of love we believe that if you fall in love with mathematics that's when you actually start exploring the subject so if you like you can check the link in the description and be a part of our mathematical community uh, now let's go on with the problem this sort of problem gives you insight about relationship of geometric figures with points that are inside them maybe around them and this problem is with a quadrilateral we can do a same problem with a triangle a pentagon a hexagon how do you find out such a point p well we use something called and this is very important called triangular inequality okay so if you have not seen triangular inequality it is simply the fact that distance between two points is shortest when you straight go from one point to another when you straight go from the point a to point b that is the shortest distance so straight 
is shortest. This de definition is triangular inequality in disguise because what triangular inequality says is that if you take any other point C, then AC plus CB, AC plus CB is greater than or equal to AB. So if you go from A to some other point C and then to B, and if you go to directly to B, of course, going directly to B will be shorter. Saying that in a more formal way is triangular inequality. So we will be using triangular inequality to solve this problem. Let's come back to this picture. My claim is that the required point P is simply the intersection point of the diagonals. So if you just draw the diagonals and make them intersect, of course they will, it's a convex quadrilateral. The point of intersection is where you, you should be setting up your shop. PA plus PB plus PC plus PD will be minimal at that point. And how can you show that? Well, you take any other point Q. Let's join QA, QB, QC and QD. Let's take any other point Q. And we want to show that QA plus QB plus QC plus QD is greater than or equal to PA plus PB plus PC plus PD. Why can we show that? Well, I'll give you a clue and then I will ask you to actually do it yourself and put the solution in the comment. Okay. So, let's look at the two triangles QBD and QAC. Oops, sorry. QBD and QAC. QAC. Triangle QBD, triangle QAC, and apply the triangular inequality in these two triangles. That's it. That's all you have to do. Apply the triangular inequality and give me an argument why P is the minimal point. All right. Okay. So now that we have it, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bonus problem. Okay. So, if you try to do the same problem in the case of a triangle, let's say ABC, a triangle, if you try to find a point P such that PA plus PB plus PC is minimal, how can you do it? What point P will have that particular property? So, if you are able to do this problem and send it to helpdesk at chinta.com, there is this Ramanujan scholarship that we offer and we will be able to activate that for you.